There they are. There's the red tails. Those red tails Thank are you. going into my big pond. Here you go. All right, here you go. First one. Here they go. There goes one. There goes two. There go. Oh my gosh, they're so sick. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to yet another video. Guys and girls, today, I'm actually not, they're not my fish. They're going in temporarily, but they're two red tails from a buddy of mine. You guys have seen 90% of my videos. His name is Nick. I'm at his tank right now. Look at how big these Oscars are. Now on camera, they don't look nearly as big. You've got a Tiger Oscar here, an Albino oh, Oscar there. Yeah, I know. And then you got the big, this Paku was so small last time I was here. Those of you that remember, you'll, you'll, you'll be like, what? But Paku grow very fast. So that's a cool little, little Paku right there. And then these guys right back here. You can't even see this them red on tail. the camera, bro. I know. Those red tails are going into my big pond. Now, now I wasn't gonna do exotics in this big pond, but red tails will not mess with koi whatsoever, and Nick needs somewhere to put these red tails. They're getting too big for his tank. This is only a 75 gallon, it has all these big fish in here. So once these fish are ready for his pond, which is down in Delray, it's like 45 minutes away, this is dad's house. So once he's ready to take them out of my pond, He'll take them back. I'll probably shoot a video getting them back to him just so my viewers, the Caferos, know when they're being taken out of my pond. But yes, these, these fish will be in the big pond as a temporary home for Nick, my buddy here, just uh, just until he needs to get him to his pond. Figured I'd film this video so that when I went into my backyard there was just two red tails sitting in my pond. You guys wouldn't be like, what in the heck? Why is there red tails in your pond? Anyway. All right, so this is Tiger Shovel is we're gonna leave him and just get the two red tails. They're probably about almost a foot long, I'd say, right? Yeah. They're gonna do amazing in the big pond for the temporary time they're in there. And by the way, remember that air one I bought him? Look at this. Look at her. Where is she? So sick. She, she's doing well. She's got a little albino Oscar in there. We got a silver gar back there. We also bought that when it was like literally like an inch long. And then there's also a baby largemouth in there. You can see it back there. There they are. There's the red tails. They're going in the pond. No, I haven't. There's a peacock in here too. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy, dude, it was like this big last time. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? I feed them a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're making some room taking these red tails out, that's for sure. And that peacock will go in your pond it's eventually, right? It's such a small area, so we need to get them out. Yeah, for real. There's one. There's other one? Then we got one more. The net just dropped. There's a tiger shell. Those look cool. Look how oh, cool they is. are. Look how cool they are, dude. There's two, baby. Okay, we got a two new fish. Oh my god, they're so sick. So so the reason why I'm taking these fish and waiting to bring them to his pond is the pond fish that he has in his pond right now His fish are super big like he has some big you guys have probably seen his dad's house before if you watch enough on this channel Some big tiger chauvinos big red tails uh, everything's bigger peacocks. so these yeah big peacocks big large mouths So these things are really small compared to them He doesn't want to put these little red tails in so we're gonna grow them a little bit in my big pond since there's nothing to really harm them in there and it's also um about a million degrees in South Florida every single day here and it's summertime is coming up so it'll be another year until we get cold weather. I gotta stop blabbing, you guys understand we're getting two red tails for a temporary time and we're gonna take care of them for Nick and then when he's ready, he's gonna take them back. Let's head home. Quick stop at Walmart, somebody asked what we feed these red tails while they're in my pond. Well, here you go. We're just gonna get a small bag for now. Well, oh God. I don't know how I just caught that with one hand. This is a four pound bag. This is boneless and skinless. It's skinned tilapia and uh, no bones. Pretty pretty obvious right there, yep, yep. But that's what we're gonna feed them. Just cut that up, defrost it, cut it up, and you're set. There you go, four pound bag. We'll do that for a little bit longer and then give them a little bit of time to sit in there. Water gets to the same temperature, and then we'll put them in. Alrighty, these are, this is the pond they will be going in right here. This is one of the ponds in my backyard. Other than they got the mini pond over here too, right there. But here's, this is the big pond, they're going in this one. Two red tails going in. All right, here you go, first one. Here they go, there goes one, there goes two. Oh my gosh, they're so sick. of the red tails are now in. One is actually already fine in the fish cave. He went in there and then he came out, but he did go in there and that's, it's just so cool to see. Like they already found their way. Right now they're just exploring. They're like bumping into the rocks, kind of finding their way around. Once they do find their way around this whole entire pond, 
they get along with all these koi fish that are in this pond and uh, they'll get big, they'll get huge in this pond. As you can see, one is actually right here. Still exploring the rocks, you can see them down there. And they were real, real light colored in that white bucket, not only because they go to the kind of the color of the surrounding they're in, but he was probably kind of stressed in that bucket. And right when we put him into this new pond, their colors came right back dark and they look great. So Nick, what do you think? You excited? Excited to get him big? Look at that. The other one's in the fish cave. He's not coming out, that's his home. Look at the, look at the koi checking him out. What is that thing? It's kind of cool to see, that's it's insane. Let's feed the koi real quick. Fish pellets here. He did? Yeah. One got in there. All right, feast guys. Once one finds it, they're all gonna pop up and start munching. Oh, there, the black one found it. And there we go. It's gonna start the squad, there it is. Boom, feast time buddies. The good thing about this food is it doesn't fog up your water at all. A lot of it will go in the skimmer, kind of sit there, either disintegrate, or it'll find its way through the fil whoa, filtration, and eventually they'll eat it, but it's so cool. Just throw as much as you want in there. I, I usually don't overfeed them too much though, but koi fish are doing amazing. You can see they're already getting bigger. I could already see a difference. So sick. We do also have aquascape fish flakes right here as well for the mini pond, which is right here. Like I said, these little bubbles are just from static water. There's actually a flow right here which is creating the bubbles, but there's nothing to really push it into the skimmer. That skimmer is not too powerful. So I do need to get like a little water flow pump just to move around the water more. Oh, look at the baby. You see the baby? And there's a baby Dalmatian Molly Absolutely. right there. We're gonna do that. Yeah, look at, look at, they're already hand trained. Oh my God. I called it one of my old videos, my last videos. I was like, watch. They're finicky right now, but watch when they get used to me feeding them again. I just crush all these flakes into really small pieces. Just like that, a bunch of them. Whether they get stuck in the rocks, they'll go searching at night and just munch up. But there's Dingo Bingo. Everything's eating all the mollies, platies. Sword tails down there. So cool. One-eyed willy right there, one-eyed goldfish. I saw some babies in here. Like baby mollies made their way all the way up in here. Let's see if I could find one right now. Kind of hard to get on camera, but they were chilling. I even threw a little live plant in here too. We're gonna do a whole video on getting live plants for this. Mini pond is incredible, dude. I'm, I'm beyond stoked. Look how sick this is. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, dude. This backyard is just unreal. Yeah, we're in search for the turtles. I, I don't know, I don't know, honestly. They probably buried themselves somewhere in the mulch or they're in a cave. Oh this God, thing, it's straight rock. Look at this. Sure. Oh look, this is the koi Franklin gave me. There he is. He usually comes out of the rocks sometimes. They found a different hole? Yes. All right, well the red tails are searching. I'm over here just chilling, sitting in my canopy here. Enjoying this amazing view here. Nick, if Nick was out of it, it'd be even more amazing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let me sit down and do a positive comment shout out. I love to give a feedback on my viewers because without my viewers, my channel doing all this is not possible. So uh, let me give a cool little positive comment shout out here. Positive comment shout out goes to Fisherman CH saying, I would love to meet you in person and see your pond in person. Love your videos and channel. Keep up the good work. I appreciate that. And uh, if I ever did do a meet and greet, where should I do it? Where should I do it? I, it's probably a great question to ask my YouTube audience, especially. Also, I'll have to ask it on my Instagram as well, but I'm sure a lot of you go to my Instagram from this YouTube channel. So comment down below where I should do a meet and greet. I don't care where it is in the world. If it gets enough likes or enough attention, I'll go visit it because I do want to meet you guys. I do, like I said, this, this channel, my, what I do, this whole backyard is nothing without you, the viewers, my family. If you haven't joined the family already, I suggest hitting that subscribe button. We've got so much to come. As you can see, a lot going on in the channel right now. And there's only more to come. If you guys do want to be a positive comment, shout out winner as well. All you gotta do is throw a comment down below that is very positive, because that's what I like flowing on this channel. Nothing negative, no one wants negative energy. Not sure we're gonna name the turtles yet. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna have Camp Cannon come over here and kind of dig through the mulch, have him find them. They're locked in, they're 100% locked in. Like, I'm telling you straight gate, on gate, on gate. Like, look how high that gate gets over there. They've got to be in here somewhere. They, they definitely are. There's, there's no way. But eventually, we will get a name for both of those turtles. I see all the comments. There's like 7,000 comments on the turtle video. It is ridiculous, mind blowing. But that is the power of y'all. So, thank you for watching once again, guys. We got two red tails in the big pond. Like, what?